car, back in the car, but this isn't just any car. This is a brand new Chevrolet Corvette with 500 horsepower, 500 horses. <laughs> this thing is a rocket ship, man, and I love fast cars. But I can hear you saying right now that <laughs> Gatson's losing it. Like, what does 500 horsepower have to do with drumming? Well, in our last segment, we talked about dynamic range and how to get more horsepower out of your kit. Well, now, let's get more horsepower out of you by getting you in the pocket. All right? Do I need 500 horsepower to drive around the city streets? No way. It's not about using the 500 horse horsepower. It's just knowing that it's right there under my foot. It's a psychological, psychological advantage. It's, a, it's like a, a, it's a feel-good thing. It's about having power on reserve, reserved power, and that's how you get into the pocket. If you don't know what the pocket is, just in case, the pocket is that point in time where everything comes together and it feels just fantastic, like this car. In the car, it's the mechanical nature of it. It's when you connect with the, you know, the handling, the acceleration, the engine, the sound of the engine, all in sync with the driver. It's like, like this, yeah, it just feels good, man. Yeah? Now, with drumming, it's your hands and feet synchronizing. It's, it's getting just the right sound and feel on the drum set. It's uh, coming up with just a, a great musical ideas, and your band members turning around and looking at you and, you know, giving you that look of approval, and, you know, and, and your audience, the heads are bobbing. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's the pocket. It's pure ecstasy, all right? So let's go back to the studio and share some ideas on how to, well, control your flow and then getting into the pocket. And by the way, when you get into that pocket, you want to be able to let it go. thank Bill Lagoza for uh, trusting me with his brand new Corvette. He's, he's quite a guy. He started taking drum lessons at 48 years old and he is now 70, acts and looks exactly the same the day I met him 22 years ago. Um, Bill is also a gearhead and uh, he actually races speedboats besides his fast cars. Plays out eight, ten times a month by the way and uh, you know fast cars and drums they keep you young. Yeah, we're back in the car again. You know why? Because this is a comfort zone for me. This is one of my pockets. In general, it's like we all know what the pocket is, but are not able to control it. Most of us believe that we kind of like, it happens by mistake or we kind of stumble into it. And when it does happen, it always takes us by surprise. Wouldn't you agree with that? It's like, wow, man, I'm into the pocket. <laughs> now. Let's not take that magic out of it, but can we control it? That's the question. You know, like pocket on demand. Wouldn't that be great? I think we can. When it comes to performance, we all have our on and off days. You know what that's like. But it's hard to accept, say, the random nature of that, especially if you're into creative work where deadlines are staring you in the face. You can't be waiting around for ideas to, you know, magically appear. At the same time, you can't force it. <laughs> it's really a, really a predicament. It's, it, it's about balancing those two things, and balance is what the pocket is all about. So it's a great exercise. You know, all the elements of performance, uh, whether it's in the car, on the drums, or just about anything you do, it's all about balance and getting it in sync. That's where you get into the pocket. This balance we speak of is uh, uh, something I call flow. It's flow. So the question is, how does flow set up the pocket? That's the key. Okay, let's think about horsepower. The more horsepower, the more range of performance, correct? Now, horsepower is a lot like knowledge and skill. Every time we learn something new or acquire skill, we increase our playing field, our capacity. And this develops power and reserve. Remember power and reserve? It has its benefits, psychological benefits more possibilities, options, better ideas, confidence, self-esteem, greater performance levels. Now, that sounds like the pocket to me. Uh, yeah, let's see. Here's the 100% thing. This is important, so listen. 
we don't want to confuse passion with performance. Passion is always at 100%. Otherwise, <laughs> it wouldn't be passion, right? However, performance and ideal, the idea levels should fluctuate. Let me give you an example. Constant extremes are boring and produce disastrous results. Now, if I spoke to you like in that tone of voice, you'd be out of here in a second. You wouldn't listen to more than a, a 50 seconds of this. All right, let me rephrase that. Constant extremes are boring and produce disastrous results. Now, that is flow. Look, I'm, I'm just reminding you of things you already know, but here's some homework. Intentionally, perform below your level of skill, your capacity. Pace yourself, learn to cruise, exercise patience. Don't give everything away so quickly. Create wicked highs and lows. You know, make your audience like you know, want more. It's just like coma soloing, ease into it. You know, do something that you really know until you bore yourself to death and it forces you to start to take chances and experiment with ideas. This is how flow opens the mind and gets into the pocket. So here's a tune I wrote to demonstrate flow pocket. It's called Here We Go. Actually, I should have called it flow pocket, I guess. But when I play this tune, I see a meter kind of device in my mind. I call it the flowometer. <laughs> the flowometer measures my ideas, the quality of my ideas compared to my performance levels and my skills. So are you ready? Here we go. And stay tuned for part three because I'm going to show you how to open your pocket seven days a week. <laughs> How's that?